Upon creating a bulk embed campaign, you will have to get the embed code of this campaign and embed it on your product pages template. We also call it a master product page or a default product page. I like to call it a template. So let's get this embed code, let's copy it, and let's head over to your website editor. Let's get to the editor. I take Shopify as an example, but please note, it's exactly the same logic on other website editors. Let's find the product template. On Shopify, it's called default product. Once you're here, you will have to embed the widget code at the right placement. So we'll want this story under the quantity block. So we'll add a block here, custom liquid, and I'm just going to paste the, um, the widget code right here. Please note, nothing is appearing in this case because in my widget campaign, I haven't segmented any URLs. Now, to test it on your product pages, it's very simple. Just go on your website, pick a product page. This can be a real product page or a test one. Pick a part of the URL, like this one. Head to your widget account. Go and edit your bulk embed campaign. And here, in pages, make sure to add the right URL. So in this case, it's contain bamboo to toothbrush. I can click confirm, save and close. And then I can go back to this page, reload the page. And my stories are appearing right here. And now let's see if the feed is working correctly. And yes. And remember, upon embedding this embed code on your master product page or template product page, it's normal if you don't see anything right away. You will first have to go to widget, add a URL to at least one feed, go on the product page, reload the page, and the element will appear.